Have you ever wondered what the no internet TX game would look like in 3D? No? Yeah, me neither. So I might have ended up making the no internet TX game in 3D. To kick this project off, I began by creating the T-Rex model in 3D. To make the model, I used a 3D modeling software called Magica Voxels. It's based on voxels which are similar to pixels, but it's 3D. This will give us the pixelated look the original game has. I imported an image of the T-Rex into the software and started extruding and sculpting the model. And I'm quite proud of what I've created. Next, I created a new Unity project and imported the T-Rex model into the scene. In the original game, the T-Rex moves in one direction, so I wrote some code to achieve the same effect. Since we are making a 3D remake of the game, the T-Rex should be able to move left and right. So I wrote some code to enable lateral movement. And it also causes the T-Rex to slightly rotate itself in the direction it's moving. The T-Rex was now running. Well, he isn't running, he's sliding. I created animations for walking. The walk cycle has two frames in which one leg goes up and the other one goes down. I made models for each frame. Then I created an animation to switch between these models when the T-Rex is running. The animation is just each model turning on and off, one after another, giving us a walking animation. Next, I added jumping and crouching. To jump, I added an upwards force to the T-Rex model. When in air, the T-Rex model switches to an idle animation. And for crouching, I made a new T-Rex model which is half the size of the original one. When the player presses the S key, the T-Rex switches to the crouching model. In the original game, the T-Rex runs through an endless desert. Since the game is endless, we need an infinite ground system. I came up with the idea of spawning ground pieces around the player. As the player moves, these chunks spawn and despawn around the T-Rex, keeping him at the center. After the endless ground was done, it was time to add obstacles. I started by creating a cactus model in Magica Voxels. The process was the same as the T-Rex model, bring in the image, extrude and shape. Once the model was ready, I wrote a script to randomly spawn the cacti model on the ground. There were some initial issues with the cacti spawning in groups, but I eventually fixed it so they spawn right in front of the T-Rex as he moves. Next, I added birds to the game. Yeah, and they are not birds, they are... Pteranodon. We will call them birds. The birds in the original game has a flapping wing animation, made of two sprites. But when I brought it into Unity, it looked odd. To improve it, I added a third frame to the animation, which made it look way better. I set it up to spawn right in front of the player similar to the cacti. To enhance the game's visual appeal, I decided to give the world a curved appearance. I followed this tutorial and created a shader that would bend the world. However, my first attempt went horribly wrong. The cacti was floating in the air and the ground was descending straight down. The issue was due to the ground's polygon count being low. I used Blender to create a ground and made loop cuts in the ground to have more polygons to work with. And that seems to fix the problem. Once the shader worked correctly, I changed the skybox to white, added some distant fog and adjusted some parameters to ensure that obstacles spawn a bit further away. This made the game look way better. When the T-Rex collides with Cactus, nothing happens. The player needs to die and the game has to restart. First, I created a new T-Rex model and by new, I mean changing the eyes in the original model and made animations to switch to the new model upon collision. Since everything was white, it was challenging to distinguish the ground. So I created a simple texture in Photoshop to represent the ground. Finally, I created a cloud model to add to the sky. They spawn similarly to the cacti and birds, but at a high altitude. The last step was making the score counter. I found the same font used in the original game on Google Fonts and downloaded it. The UI was a simple score counter which goes up as the player moves and the high score display which keeps track of your high scores. I also made a panel that appears when the player dies. This panel has a replay button and a sign that says game over. I also made a main menu for the game and added instructions over there on how to play the game. The original game has just three sound effects, for dying, jumping and for points. So I added those sound effects to my 3D game and after some minor polishing, tweaking and adding post-processing effects, the game was complete. 
If you want to play the game, it's available on my itch.io page. You can find the link for the game in the description. If you enjoyed your time here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe.